Hey, what's going on guys? It's Eric here, and today, look what Santa brought me. I got the new Astray 40s Mix Amp Pro, and they are Generation 2. So today I'll be showing you guys how to actually um, use those with the Xbox One, because if you see on the box here, it says PS4, PS3, PC, and Mac, and there's no Xbox One, but I want to use it for Xbox One, so I'll show you guys how to do that. Now, first things first, uh, you obviously want to take out everything from the box, which is a very try-hard looking box if you ask me. And then you'll have your um, your uh, headset, of course, and you'll have four wires, so I know they're all tangled up here, but that's what happens when you untie the tie wraps. So um, you'll have your audio cable here, and then you'll have your micro USB cable just for the power, you'll have your optic cable here and um, you'll also have that wire in the back there which allows uh, if ever you guys have lands or attend LAN events uh, it, there, that wire there is used to um, have a LAN communication so but what I mean by that is uh, you use that wire to plug it in these two holes in the back here and all your teammates uh, plug their wires in their mix amps and you guys uh, plug this wire into the uh, your teammates mix amp and I know it sounds complicated but it's not really and all it does is you, you guys can talk through your Astros without using Skype or Xbox Live because you guys are all in the same room or you guys could just yell at each other and that will work too <laughs> now let's get right into it so the first things first you want to give your mix amp some power so let's plug in this uh, micro USB now I'll show you where that is so it's in the back of your mix amp here to the right. I don't know if it's focused or not. There we go. So it does say USB. And you want to plug the little part of the micro USB cable in. So I'll do that for you guys. And I am doing this at one hand, so this is kind of a struggle. And this mix amp really does not want to stop moving. Come on, stop. And do I have it? I think I do. There we go. So now it's plugged in, and then you want to plug the other side, which is just a normal USB, uh, into your computer or your Xbox, it doesn't really matter. Uh, as long as it's uh, pro it provides power to your mix amp, you should be all set to go. Now after that, what you want to do is use your audio cable, which is this guy here. And there's two different diameters to uh, the two ends of this cable, as you can see. So one's a bit bigger and th and the other one's a bit thinner. I don't know if you guys can actually see that. But anyways, you want to put the bigger one into the headset itself. So right over here, sorry about that. And you want to plug that in just like that. And once that's plugged in, you want to pull, uh, plug the thinner one into your mix amp, which is in the slot where... oh in the slot where the headset sign is. So that's pretty common if you ask me. I'll plug it in right there. And there we go. Oh. I really should invest in having a tripod or something. Alright, now once that's plugged in uh, and into your headset, that's all it is for that cable. And finally you have your optical cable which is a bigger one and again same principle you want to plug the smaller part in the back of your mix amp and it does say opti or it's an OPT so you want to plug the smaller end into that guy here just like that and after that you want to use the other end of that optical cable and plug it at the back of your Xbox One after that I mean that's essentially all you need for uh, the PC so to talk on Skype in the PC uh, that's all you need and then that's probably what I'm gonna do uh, using this mix amp but if you do want to use it on Xbox one I'll show you how so this is what you gotta do you have your Xbox one controller right over here and so in order to for this to work you need to buy a few things so you need to buy the Xbox one adapter which probably most of you have if you have an Xbox one and after that, that also comes with the 2.5 to 3.5 converter. And you'll have to have a wire that allows you to go from your controller to your headset. 
So after that, uh, this one here is just a Turtle Beach uh, wire. I think it was like 20 bucks at Future Shop or something like that. So it's not too expensive, uh, but still another um, extra cost on top of the Astro A40s. So after that, what you want to do is you want to plug in your 2.5 to 3.5 converter into your uh, Xbox adapter. And once that's done, you want to use your Turtle Beach wire or whatever wire it is. Uh, and you see here it says headset so you want actually to use a side where it says uh, into your controller which is this guy here and now you plug that one in the 2.5 to 3.5 converter and really uh, what's Microsoft doing is just uh, you know getting more money off of us and that's pretty much what it is because they can't make wires they have to make adapters and all kind of stuff to make us buy and spend more money but anyways that, that was a rant of the day <laughs> so after that what you want to do with the other the other end of your wire uh, as you can see it says uh, headset here so you don't actually want to plug it in your headset because you already have something plugged there so what do you want to do with this wire here uh, is plug it in the uh, little controller uh, port right here in the mix amp so you want to go ahead and plug that in there I'll show you guys that and once that is plugged if I can get that in plugged get that in plugged no get that plugged in and there we go yeah so once all of those wires are plugged in all you gotta do is play with this adapter here now as you can see if this can focus this little controller icon you're gonna have to press that until you hear a beep once you hear a, be a beep you're gonna have to uh, hold the or tap the minus until you hear a second beep and that mainly uh, tells you that all of the um, game volume on the adapter is uh, gone so then to have game volume obviously use your mix amp and that will provide you your, uh, your game volume and after that to talk uh, just this little person here you tap that and you play with the volumes and that allows you to uh, talk to your teammates so essentially that's all you need for uh, the Xbox One in order to use the A40s Gen 2 and that's pretty much it for me guys so if you do have any questions just let me know in the comment section of this video and I'll be out of your way so have a good one and peace out guys.